Um, hi everyone, welcome back to Kid Friendly Videos. Today we're going to take Leakless and make him into a retired Leakless. We're going to paint him all yellowish green to match his tire wheels, I mean. Then we're going to put some uh, white across here and some black on the back and just his number 52 on the top. He's not going to be uh, racing anymore. This is going to be retired Leakless and he's going to join the rest of the retired cars we have here. Uh, for example, we have retired Lightning McQueen, number 95, and somewhere we have retired Chick Hicks. Check that out. And also, I retired the king, and um, they, they all came pretty good. They want the numbers on the top too. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get the paint out and paint it all yellow first, maybe two coats yellow, and we'll paint the um, the side white and the back black, okay? And then we'll put number 52 on the side and the top, okay? So let's get the paint out right now and get this mixed up. Okay, so I mixed up some paint. Leakless is not yellow and he's not green. He's kind of like a combination color. So I mixed up a, a big bunch of yellow by mistake and then I mixed up this color. So there is perfectly matched to his wheel. See that? I'm doing the whole car in this beautiful greenish color. And then I'll come back later and um, maybe put another coat on. This is a perfect match for Leakless, actually. Make sure I don't get the wrong color by mistake. And I'm gonna do his eyes. Somebody got really mad at me for painting over the eyes. This used to be the Hulk. But you can almost see the outline of the original Leakless's eyes under there. Okay, I'm gonna leave the um, windows gray if I can help it. Because actually they're black in the picture, so I'm gonna have to paint them. So I'm gonna go right along here. And right up here with the eyes. This is the hardest part to do. And then I'm gonna, oh, did you see that? Then I'm gonna put the little eye spots in later. But I'm gonna do the whole thing in this green first, and black on the back, and then white across the door. So it's gonna look pretty good. So it looks like the windows are blacked out, so I'm gonna have to do the windows in black, okay? So therefore, I'm pretty good so far. It's actually a pretty close match color. So I may end up putting two coats on anyway. So listen, you guys are watching my videos. Thanks very much. These series, like I said, are coming to an end. Um, YouTube decided not to show my videos to too many people. I used to get a lot of views, but now when I upload a video, I only get about three or 4,000 views at the most. So they decided they don't like my channel. So I'm just gonna stop making videos. Um, you guys can help by just watching the videos. I know you guys are watching them, but you're a select few because very few people see the videos now. They don't even get, they don't even get sent out anymore. So it's just been like a real disappointment. And I'm moving on, I'm getting a, actually getting a job very soon actually. And this will be um, the end of my YouTube days. Look at that, that came really nice. I might put another coat on, let's leave this dry. And I'll come back and I'll put a second coat on and then I'll put um, the black on the back. Wow, that came really nice. But the eyes are important as well, so I'm gonna put them on later. Okay, I actually found another leakless, and I gotta admit the mix paint I mixed up came pretty good. So I'm gonna put another coat on right now. Fail. And then I'll put the, <laughs> the green, I mean the, the uh, black on the back and the white. Did you hear that car fall on the floor? Yeah. It just fell out of my hands. Anyway, this second coat's going on really nice. The paint, the car is kind of warm because I had it on the uh, the heat lamp, so that came really nice. I can't wait to get the eyes on. They're dark green and black, and it's gonna look pretty good. And I'll do the windows in black, and the doors will be in white, and that'll be it. So, what do you guys think of our custom Pixar Cars custom series? A lot of you guys were making your own cars. I'm really happy to see that, but. Um, not everybody was, but that's okay though, it's hard to do that. I'm glad you like watching them. I'll put some red tail lights in the back too. I had some red paint right over there. And I got some black paint for the windows. I got some white paint for the sides. And uh, looking pretty good. Can't wait to finish this, this can look pretty good. Retired Leakless. Yeah, he was requested actually. Everybody wanted, this is Claude Scruggs. I guess I had to pronounce it. It's Claude Scruggs. So he's, um, from Cars 1, he's one of the racers. They look pretty good. Okay, leave this dry, and we'll come back. That's awesome, that. What I should do right now is use the, the black and put a black spot on his eyes, a big blob, so that'll dry at the same time. Then I'll put the green in the middle. There, what do you think of that? Now he's starting to take shape. Okay, we'll leave it dry, and we'll come back and put, actually, you know, I don't think I'll put the, um, Tail lights on too in red right now. There's the back. The big swipe of red right here. Because he's retired, so he's gonna have to have lights. Didn't come very good because it's still wet. There. Nice. I'll 
Okay, the back tail lights are done. The eyes are on, partially. And when it dries, I'll put the rest on. Okay, there's my leakless original. What I'm doing now is paint the whole back of the car black. I got a nice pile of black right... I just dropped the brush into the paint. I have a whole bunch of black right here. I'm gonna paint the whole back of the car black, starting right behind the back wheel. It's not 100% dry yet, but it's good enough. And right up over the top, right below here. Even the spoiler is black. It's looking pretty good. I know it's a lot more paint than normally the retired cars. Usually they're just one color. And I was gonna do it just one color first, but after seeing leakless, I think it looks pretty good. And the back is painted black. I may have to do I may have to paint new back lights on it too. Back with it. Paint right over there. I know I just did them, but I can do them again. So there. There's the black. See? Perfect. And then the white. Actually, there's kind of a black stripe along the side too. Across the hood, I mean. So I what if I just point put a big black stripe starting here? So right down to there. And right up over the fender, and go right across the hood. Right down to the front of the hood. So this is a lot more work than normally retired cars, so just one color. Go right across here. It's pretty good. Nice. Okay, and does it go down the other side? Yes, right over the fender. Okay. So I end up getting some paint on the car for my fingers. There. There's the black. Now, is there any more black? No. Okay, let's wash out the brush and use the white next. Okay, the white... The white goes across the whole part from here, right back to the black. This is a nice looking car. And there's a bit of green right there. And it goes up the side, almost to the roof. Hope you can see that okay. This, this video is probably pretty boring, so thanks for sticking around to watch it. And that's what usually happens. People click away, and it really affects the watch time of the video. If you like watching the video, don't skip ahead. Stay right here. Now on this side, it's right up to the same point, and down the back, and the whole door again. This is nice. Okay, and it goes right here. Perfect. And there's actually a spot open green look on the side. It's perfect. Okay, now I don't want to touch the paint. Now is that about it for the oh there's a big white square on the roof, so let's turn it around. And I put some sort of a white square right across the roof on an angle. The number's gonna go in there, 52. The number's gonna go on the side too, 52. There's actually sort of a black mess on the sides. I have to wait for it to dry first. This is getting, it's almost making like the same car. I'm not gonna put leakless on the hood. So, what else gonna do? Oh yeah, the headlights are black and so is the grill. So I'll do the headlights in black too. There's a nice big grill right here. Headlights, which are kind of painted on. There's stickers. And there's a white smile down there? Okay. Lots of white. Here it goes. Yeah, I need some green for his eyes, and so I'm putting the green on right in the middle of the black. Okay, here it goes. A big blob of green right in the middle. Not quite centered perfectly. There. It's getting closer. Let's leave that dry and we'll come back and finish it off. Okay, I'm gonna put some black on the side now because where the number goes, it's white. It's kind of a square box on the side for the number to go into. It's gonna make a little squiggle here. This brush feels like it dried out. It doesn't have much brush to it at all. It's okay though, we can use it. Almost like a pen. Okay, nothing fancy. It's all little, little bubbles and stuff. In the top, there's another big blob of black. Put the number inside. And that'll be 
52 again. Now, this is a lot of work. This is probably the most hard, the most difficult retired car I made. Most of them are just one color. There's nothing fancy about them. But leakless, a little more work. And we're 52 on the side over here. Hope you can see all right there. I'm gonna use a brush. This is too hard. Okay. Oops. We'll fill in the spots here. There. I'll put 52 in there. And 52 on the top. And on the side here too. There we go. And the front's done. The eyes are perfect. And all I have to do now is put the numbers on top and the sides. And while I have it, I may as well do the back tail lights again because I ruined them last time. Okay, here it goes. That's lots of red right here. A big black, I mean a big red spot for a tail light. Here's this side. So you'll be street legal, which means you can drive on the roads, retired. Yeah, okay, let's so get the drive for a few minutes and then put the number on and finish it up. Okay, folks, we're all set to put the finishing touches on retired leakless number 52 right here in the door. Hope I can do it nicely. And on the roof. This is a stiff brush. I don't know. Probably another one's right out on me. Here we go, 52. And on the roof. A little, a little less room up here. the other side as well. Now I'll show you the rest of my retired cars. 52 and way over here like I said this was the hardest retired car to make so many different colors on it. But thanks again for all you people for watching the whole video this far and everything I really appreciate it. I wish that the algorithm would show it more as it is not getting many views. My channel is just about finished. But anyway there you have it guys there is number 52 Claude Scruggs retired and he now joins, well, let's have a look. Retired Chick Hicks. Number 86. Come over here. And retired Lightning McQueen. Number 95. Retired the King, number 43. And I forgot to put the number on Lewis Hamilton. There's retired Lewis Hamilton. Isn't he cool? And I know there's some more around here somewhere. I think this is retired Cruz Ramirez with no number on it. And we have a lot of requests. Someone actually requested I paint Cruz in rainbow colors with sparkles or sprinkles. So I may do that next or another time. And this is the car that started it all, everybody. This is Primer Lightning McQueen from Cars 3, the original painted car we did that made all this possible. All these hundreds of cars here all painted. Oh yeah, and here is retired Miss Fritter, one of my new favorites. This is right at her spring school bus now. She lost her horns. Actually, the horns are right here. Lots of videos. You want to see those videos? Click the button up here. You can see us cutting the horns off Miss Fritter. And she's going to be collecting the cars in Radiator Springs. And there you have it, everybody. There's retired Claude Scruggs or Leakless. Thanks for watching. And I hope you uh, enjoy the video and watch the rest of them. There's a whole bunch here you can watch anytime. And uh, send us comments and what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.